Good morning from Baguio, Philippines. This beautiful city that unfortunately I'm about to depart. Yes, I say unfortunately because I'm going to miss this beautiful weather. The pine trees, the friendly people. I'm going to miss being able to walk around all day without getting sweaty. Guys, definitely going to miss this city. But if I'm going to go on further adventures in the Philippines, first I'm going to have to head to Manila. So that's what I'm about to do right now. So let's grab our luggage, check out and make our way to the bus terminal. This sign, right? Off, off duty and on duty. You just you just switch it around. Yes. Ah, okay, because I've been trying to flag down taxis and sometimes they just go past. But yeah. I need to look for that, right? Yes, That's what yes. I need to look for. Ah, okay. During the time, that one. Ah, that it, time it will say on duty. On yeah. Ah, okay. There's nothing on top. Nothing on top. There is. There is. Yeah. Oh, really? The ah. light. You well, yeah, but I yeah. see. But you can't tell if the light is on or not. Uh, during night time. Oh, night time you can tell. Ah, yeah. okay, it's yeah. Like that, you, you can't tell. With that, I wouldn't know. I would just see, has he got customers or not? Has he got passengers? During so, the time, yeah. you cannot see. Yeah, during the daytime, time, you, you can't can see. Yeah. I've been having difficulty with that. Usually, I just try and flag down every yeah. taxi that goes past. Yeah. And then hope, like you were like the 10th one or something. So, yes. eventually, I get I get the taxi. Just flag down and flag down. Yeah. This is cool, this mural. Yeah. That's very nice. My bus is until 11.15, so I think I might go to Jollibee's for breakfast. Mm. Yeah, the breakfast in my hotel, no good. No good. Yeah, <laughs> at the Orchard Hotel, the breakfast was terrible. So, I might go for a cheeky Jollibee. Okay, okay thank you, Paul. Have well, a nice day. Welcome. Cheers. This is the system guys, you buy your ticket online from the website, nice and easy, then you get a barcode on your phone, you just give it to this girl, she'll scan it and give you your actual paper ticket. Yes sir, just temporary. Uh, just temporary? Yes sir. Uh, so there's no waiting room? Yes sir. Okay, right just, just wait here. Ah, okay, yes, I'll, go, I'll go to Jollibee instead. I'm sorry, okay, it's no problem. Okay, thank you. Okay, so here apparently temporarily they don't have a first class waiting room like they do in the manila terminal at the victory liner terminal in manila they had like a separate quiet air conditioned area where you could chill but it's fine because look across the road that's where i'm gonna chill and enjoy some tasty treat this was the first place i visited when i came to baguio and it's going to be the last place i visit before i leave see if I can uh, set my stuff down. Ah. Where do I sit? There's no tables. Oh, there's more seats upstairs. Ah, okay. I'll put my stuff up first. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a ton of seats up here. Thank you. Oh. Okay, hopefully that will be safe there. All my valuables are in this. In this bag, anyway. Oh, that does look good. My suitcase does have a, a lock on it as well. It's one of those um, like number locks. Uh, three numbers, so they would have to try like average 500 combinations to get it open. So I should be okay, guys. I should be okay. Hi. Uh, I don't know. How are you? Yeah, I don't know what I want today. Yeah, I came back this, uh, I'm leaving now. I'm going back to Manila now. But I need breakfast, so I came here. Because my hotel breakfast is no good. What is Aloha Champ? Some put cup. Uh, Aloha Champ with uh, some put It's a beef burger? Yes. Uh, how is it different to the yum burger? It has uh, pineapple. Oh, it's like pineapple. Ah, so it's like a Mexican or something like that. Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I'll try, okay, I'll try that. Yeah. You want to try Aloha Champ? Yeah, the, Aloha the big, Champ. The, the bigger one? Yeah, the big one, yeah. A meal, meal please, with the fries and Coke Zero. Coke Zero. Yeah. Dine-in, yeah. Okay, so this is 281 for the meal. More than double the burger, but I think the patty is going to be thicker. 
Yeah. Okay, you take 300. Yeah. I think um, it's like probably like getting a quarter pounder out of McDonald's. You get that thicker patty. It just costs a bit more than like a regular burger. Okay, thank you. You want me to take this upstairs? I'm, I'm sitting upstairs. Ah, okay, thank you. So I don't know if uh, I don't know if they're gonna call my number and I have to come down for it, or they're actually gonna bring it to me. I don't know. If this was in the UK, they definitely wouldn't bring it to your table. But uh, Philippines is the land of service. You get good service when you come to food outlets and such like. Oh, it's mine. Oh, okay. Fantastic, thank you so much. I followed you on your YT channel. Did you? Oh, okay, thank you. Yes, Follower, thank uh, you so much. Yeah, thanks, thank okay. You. I'm actually going to take this out on the balcony because they're playing, they're playing commercial music in here, so. I'll just take this out here, shall we? And here it is, guys, the Aloha Champ Burger. Look at the size of it. Look at the size of the patty right there. Big chunk of pineapple, that's about as thick as the patty itself. We've got strips of crispy bacon and lettuce. The lettuce can, the lettuce can get lost. That's just getting in the way, isn't it? It does add a little bit of crispiness to your burger, but it gets in the way when you've already got a loaded, and this is loaded, guys, this is loaded, but you've already got a loaded burger with all these ingredients. The lettuce just gets in the way of the bacon. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, superb. Like, I think I've got rid of all the layers. Oh, that's better. That's better, guys, right here. Mmm. I'm gonna see if I can get all the ingredients in one bite. Squash it down a wee bit and... Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, yeah, that is much better than the Yum Burger that I had before. The Yum Burger was good. This is way better. Look, the patty is... It's maybe like uh, two and a half times thicker than the Yum Burger. The cheese, instead of that peppery sauce, you've got some actual nice cheese there. Crispy bacon and pineapple. Delicious. A lot of people, they don't like pineapple in their savory food. They say it doesn't go like ham and pineapple pizzas, for example. I like a ham and pineapple pizza, so that's how I knew I would like this. And I do like it, it's delicious. Mm. A nice wee breakfast before I board that five hour bus to Manila. It was five hours coming up here. It can be four, four and a half to six hours journey. So you don't want to be doing that on an empty stomach. And because the hotel breakfast was so bad, I am practically on a, an empty stomach. So this is uh, coming in clutch right now, coming in clutch. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is my bus here, 1115 to Passe. So Passe is the area of Manila where their terminal is. It's near the airport. And they're one in the backs already. That's good. I can sit in the I can sit in comfort in the bus. Rather than out here. Thank you, Paul. I gave my luggage to this guy. Oh wow, looks like a full You have enough room? Yes. Okay, good. I like to stand and make sure it actually goes on before I board the bus. Let's see. Okay, good. Always do that. Just gives you more peace of mind. You just know for a fact that your bag made it onto that bus and not on that one, for example. Okay. So they play movies during the, the bus, which is quite annoying actually. I, you just want to sit and relax, but they play full volume uh, movies. So it's not like in an airplane where you plug your headphones in and you can listen to it if you want. No, you're just forced to listen to it throughout the whole, uh, the whole, the whole journey. And I got the same seat that I got coming here because I remember that this was too small for my backpack, the overhead. So. If you look at the if you look at the seats, there's not a lot of extra room ahead of you at your legs unless you get this seat here. It doesn't have a seat in front of it. Seat 19, it should be. Where are the numbers? This is 19. Oh, where are the numbers? I can't see the numbers, but this is definitely 19. 
and uh, oh, actually, this one has a, a bit less leg room than the last, but still enough that I can comfortably get my bag and yeah, I'm gonna sit here relax for like five hours or something, and eventually we're gonna be back in Manila. This bus right here, I notice that it's three by two. So there's three seats on this side and then two on the next, so that's five people across. Whereas this bus, it's two and one. So loads of extra room compared to, I guess that's the cheapest one. Economy class or whatever. I know this one's called first class. I don't know the name of that, but that's, it reminds me of the buses I was taking in Sri Lanka. It's, uh, it's a bit rough if you're, uh, traveling for any longer than half an hour guys but um yeah five hour journey uh some of that time i'm gonna have to use booking a hotel in manila i haven't got a hotel booked at all i don't know what area of manila i'm going to stay in i'm thinking about either makati again or malati which was the area i've stayed in before it's a little bit rough and it's but it's lively it's, it's kind of cool or kuzon which is a bit further out and maybe there's something a bit different there but I'm gonna I'm gonna sit and browse hotels plenty of time no stress I'm technically homeless right now traveling with all my worldly goods and nowhere nowhere to go home but I'm gonna book something by the time this bus arrives in Manila and I've come up with an ingenious idea to store my backpack I've just wrapped it around the this here so yeah there's way less leg room than the last bus this is actually a different bus i noticed the last bus didn't have these horrible plastic things over the the headrest and there was more room here it looks like actually the normal seats have more leg room than me so i thought i was being smart but i actually messed up i guess it just depends on which bus you get but yeah this is grand luggage here chilling Okay, thank you. Oh, pan de coco. It's coconut? Yes, sir. Ah, okay, so it's a little uh, bun with coconut inside. So we are about half the way to Manila and my hotel has been booked. I've booked this one, the New Coast Hotel Manila. And hopefully I've chosen the right one because there's two hotels with the same name and one of them has a one star review. So hopefully I've chosen the one that's got the 4.3 star review. And it looks like it's close to Dolomite Beach, which I think is some kind of man-made beach. It's also close to the Rizal Park. And yeah, this hotel, it's a five star hotel. Only 80 bucks a night, which is ridiculously cheap for Manila, where hotels are kind of pricey. So yeah, I don't know what to expect. The hotel themselves, on their website, they say it's attainable luxury. Attainable luxury, so, like it's luxury, but it's not that expensive. That's what they're saying. And from the photos, it looks decent. I was just checking out the photos. Looks like there's a nice big swimming pool, and the rooms have working desks, like proper working desks that your man likes, so. I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful. $80 seems a bit cheap for Manila, but um, yeah, I'm hopeful. Let's, uh, let's see what we get when we get to Manila, guys, another couple of hours. Hello, welcome to Manila. Okay, Manila, guys. It's the Manila boys right there. We're back in. Manila guys, that journey was only, hey how are you? Hi. Hi. The journey was only 4 hours and 15 minutes, that's good. So the journey to Baguio was 5 hours and we've arrived, it's now 3.30pm. So that means I'm going to be able to skip the rush hour traffic. I can just get a grab to pick me up about here and we can skip all the, the rush hour traffic and get straight to the Pali. Malati, Malati, that's what it's called, the area I'm going to, Malati. Okay, so I'll just call a grab to here. Yeah, grab, sir. Yeah, grab, is this pick up here for a grab, yeah? yeah? Here is okay, yeah? Ah, oh, okay. I don't think it has to go all the way in and go through security and everything. 
already approaching. Huh? It's already approaching. Yeah, he's just stopped here. Yeah. He's like endless traffic okay. here. So we can just get him to stop here, yeah. Okay. Over there is very congested uh, traffic. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. I saw your video. Okay, good. I'm just gonna... I'm, 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 I'm already follow you. Oh, nice one. Um, I'm on Facebook. I'm just yeah. getting a grab to um, Malati. Malati, that's where I'm going. Okay. Yeah. This is him here. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. I will just go over. Thank you. This one? Yeah. Thank you, for your tip, hey, tip, It's tip. okay. Okay, really? Okay. Thank you. I think it's just genuinely being nice. New post hotel manager. Yeah, new post hotel. Yep. Thank you. Okay. We are here, the new coast hotel. And it is near the coast. The sea is right over there. Thank you, Paul. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello. Hi, sir. Good How are you? I feel good, sir. Thank you. All good. Yeah, oh, okay. Thank you. Hi. How are you? Good. Hi, sir. Hi. How are you? Are you a blogger? Yes, blogger from 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 Scotland. Okay. If you can't find my booking, I I only just booked it recently, like today. Uh, all the city of Pintramuras, you've been there. Yeah, I've been to there. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good place. I like it there. But I like my latte as well. There's a lot of food at night time. There's a lot of food on the street. Yeah, that's what I like about it. <laughs> Dolomite Beach. Ah, I never went there. I see it on the map though. Is it like a man-made beach or something? It's man-made. Ah, okay. If you're with US Embassy, just right beside it. Ah, okay. It's close. I see it's close on Google Maps. Some kind of man-made beach. So I'll definitely check that out when I check out this area. It's been a while since I've been, I've been here. My latte. Maybe sir, just give us a while, we're just doing a final checking of your room before Ah, okay, good. Yeah, no worries. We will be giving you an upgrade. So oh, you give me an upgrade? Oh, yes, good. Sir. So, uh, the front office manager already gave you an upgrade with our baby suite, so yes. that's our best, sell like best selling room. Oh, you give me and a suite? Oh, good. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. And then, if ever, sir, um, if we can call you again, sir, if we have, if we have already the marketing manager. Ah, okay. If, yes, sir. Yeah. Can just yeah, I'll be coming and going, coming and going, so, mm -hmm. yeah. I see. Okay, that's cool. They just upgraded me to a suite, so this girl, she's like a manager, and uh, she said, we've upgraded you to a suite, and our marketing manager wants to speak to you. And I was basically like, yeah, I'm a bit busy, I've got stuff to do. So, like, I got the suite without like, speaking to the marketing manager. Maybe they're expecting something from me, but, uh, yeah, how it goes for me is, like, uh, yeah, they shouldn't expect anything from me, basically. But thanks for the, thanks for the upgrade. Uh, yeah, that's nice because I paid for the cheapest room. Like I said, it was like eighty bucks a night or whatever. So I'll happily, I'll happily take the upgrade to the suite. Okay. Oh wow, it's good. Oh, that's nice. That nice, uh, a nice working desk here. That's what I like. That's the most important thing for me. I have a nice desk to set up my laptop. That's why I checked um, on your website on the, the photos. I seen you, all the rooms have some kind of nice chair like this, office style chair. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's always something that I check. I also have the LAN connection sir, if you want to uh, use your laptop. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Right, so Very nice. Key, sir. Okay, thank you so and much. Sir, what time can we um, set the meet up with our marketing if you're available so uh, maybe i will see them when i'm coming and going but i don't have my schedule set yet so i don't know okay. all right sir yeah. if uh, you can just drop by anytime at the front desk yeah so okay inform them sir okay thank you very thank much, you sir. so much okay okay let's check out the bathroom guys nice and big and is that no it's not a jacuzzi it is a separate bathtub and shower though that's nice it's kind of uh hmm. i don't know I don't know what I think about that. It's definitely not uh, long enough to lie down, but it's very deep. It's like, um, yeah, it's very deep. Oh, that's what she said. Overhead rain shower. I like it. It's nice. It's definitely better than the. It's definitely better than the room that I paid for, for sure. Uh, the suite. In fact, I'm going to check on their website how much this one, how much this one costs. The suite. 
Okay, I've looked it up and this suite is $180 a night. So it's more than double what I paid for. And if you look around, it's probably just a bit more than double the space. Somebody just slid something under my door right there. Dear valued guests, greetings. We wish to inform you that there will be no hot water from 10 p.m. tonight to 6 a.m. tomorrow due to preventative maintenance work. So yeah, I gotta have my shower before 10 p.m. Ideally like 9.30 p.m. or whatever, which is only like, uh, like, like four hours or so from now. Um, yeah, that's annoying, isn't it? Sometimes you have bad timing like that with hotels, like they're doing their fire alarm or something like that. I've had that before where they're doing their fire alarm at midday and it's a day where I just happen to be sleeping during the day, you know? It's awful. Sometimes you just get bad luck like that. But uh, this is the view from the window. We're not on the top. I think this is like 30 floors and we're on number nine. But it is still a nice view of this Dolomite Beach. I guess that's the beach right there. It looks like it's very clean. Um, not much there. It's not like the beaches in India where uh, you've got all the vendors and everything like that. It just looks like a nice big open clean beach for people to you know relax or whatever. I might go down and check that out now while it's still daylight. I've got less than an hour of daylight. Uh, what else from the view? It's just the street down there and it looks like a, a tennis court or something. That might be nice if people are playing. You just sit here and watch them from a from a desk, from a lovely working desk. I like this, I like this curve right here. So you can just like swing a little bit from left to right. You've got all this desk real estate right here. I was gonna use this for my mouse pad, but it actually works on the glass, believe it or not, look. And that is the speed test right there. It's 10 megabits up and down, which isn't great and isn't terrible either. I've had worse. The Somerset Hotel, it was only five megabits up and down. But the one I had in Baguio, when hardly anybody was using it at night, I was getting like 130 megabits up and down. So that was incredible. I wasn't expecting that in Baguio. And uh, yeah, this LAN cable doesn't work. Uh, for some reason, it just doesn't work. So I'm on the Wi-Fi. Anyway, I don't know if it would be faster with the with the cable or not but yeah let's check this place out it looks like it looks fairly you know elegant kind of old stylish you know it's definitely i definitely wouldn't call this like a modern hotel more like a like classic elegance kind of hotel and maybe it is actually a wee bit old because as you can see there is a bit a little bit of wear and tear on the furniture here but it is still very clean just a little bit of wear and tear uh yeah let's check out more of this hotel room so my bedroom i guess this is probably what i actually paid for guys this is probably what i actually paid for right here like a room like this probably with a working desk there um yeah oh yeah i have one other thing to point out which is the um, safe it's a very weird shape isn't it it's like a square it's like a cube it's like a cube and i definitely can't get my laptop in there even if i tried to put it in like diagonal or something i don't think i could fit in there and it's just a 15 inch laptop it's not even like i'm taking around a, a massive laptop maybe i could get it in i'd have to like put it in like an angle like diagonally or something i don't know i'll, I'll try it later but i'm like 80 percent sure that's not going in there anyway it's a nice room i'm definitely for the price that i paid i'm definitely happy 80 bucks. I'd probably be happy even if they just, if they didn't upgrade me, if they just gave me like a room like that with a nice working desk and I paid 80 bucks for it, I would still be happy. So yeah, thanks to them for the upgrade. I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, they still get, they still get the honest review. I'm not gonna, it seemed like they thought I was an influencer or something. They're like, oh, get the marketing manager. I, I've never spoken to a hotel marketing manager before in my life. Like they, they've tried it before, like in, in um, yeah, one of the hotels in Karachi in Pakistan, they tried to get the marketing manager to speak to me, but I just kind of like avoided it. I'm like, what can they really do for me? I've already paid for my room. Like, it's not like, you know, they can uh, really offer me anything that I can think of. Maybe I should think of something. What could, what could, I, what could I get the hotel to do for me that I wouldn't otherwise be able to do? if I was just like a regular guest, not this influencer. <laughs> I hate that word, influencer. I ain't trying to influence anybody, guys. Your man uh, just travels, films his travels, and you guys watch if you want to watch, and if you don't want to watch, you don't. But um, yeah, what could I, 
maybe like if they have like some Pinoy restaurant or something like that, I could get them to like uh, let me watch the chef cook. A lot of restaurants, they won't let you like film the chef or whatever, but you just turn up. But maybe that's something like I could arrange. I could arrange to see like some like Filipino food getting made or whatever. But in the hotels like this, it's usually international restaurants. Like they'll have an Italian restaurant or looking at the room service menu right here, it looks like it's a Japanese, Japanese food, which I like, but it's just not gonna be that interesting in a, in a vlog about the Philippines to watch somebody cook uh, Japanese food. Yeah, it's all Asian, all nasi goreng there, yeah, Indonesian foods. Maybe there's a few. Oh, here's Filipino. Yeah, they've got six. They've got six items for Filipino out of like their menu of uh, forty-five. So, uh, like fifteen percent. Fifteen percent of the menu is is Filipino. Uh, yeah. Okay, guys. I think I'm gonna quickly really quickly before that sun goes down and i will get this a sunset view as well that's nice the sun is setting this way so that's nice to be on this side of the hotel um yeah i'll, I'll quickly just go down to that beach and have a look i don't think it's going to be that interesting because like i said it's not indian style with all the vendors and stuff it is just people dipping their toes in the water and stuff but uh yeah let's quickly go and check it out hi okay Guys, I've changed my footwear. I'm in the Vibram Five Finger Shoes, just in case I want to get my feet wet at this beach. i got to be quick though. I uh, checked out on Google Maps, they say they actually close the beach at 6 p.m. and it's 5.15 right now. So, who knows, maybe they stop letting people actually in at 5.30 or something like that. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to close at 6 o'clock. Uh, which way to Dolomite? This way or this way? Oh, this way? Oh, okay, thank you. I was about to consult with Google Maps, but like I always say, consulting with the locals is better than Google Maps, usually. Hey, bro, how are you? Good. I'm going to the, I'm going to the Dolomite Beach. And it is right here. We are very close. And it looks like maybe an ice cream man or something. That'd be good. I haven't got a wee ice cream to take on the beach. Like I said, this beach looks like it doesn't have any vendors or anything, but maybe outside. No, that's not ice cream, is it? No, that's not ice cream. Okay, oh, horse rides. That's always fun, isn't it? Oh, and there is an ice cream guy here. Ice cream? Yeah. Oh, good. What do you want? Mango? Cheese. Cheese, oh, wow. Well. And this cookie and cream? Cookies and cream. Yeah, it looks like cookies and cream. Oh, you can get a mix. I will do the same. I will get the mix. How much is one? 30 pesos. 30 pesos only. Oh, okay, that's good. Only 30 pesos for an ice cream cone. Okay, one please, yes. Okay, good. I'll enjoy that. Yes. I'm going to take it to the beach. Hi. Okay, cheese and... No, both together. I'll take both together. This is a Filipino ice cream. Oh, how many scoops do I get? Yeah. Looks like six or seven, eight, nine, ten. You want Is more? more? Okay, good. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> more? Oh, wow. Twelve. I'm, I definitely got more than the last guys. Oh, more, more. Thirteen. Oh, it's going up. It's going up. Fourteen. Okay, it's enough. Okay. Oh, I want more. You're so generous. Thank you so much. Okay, there's 50. Keep the change. Okay, okay thank, thank you, you so much. Cheers. Bye bye. Okay, well, what a nice guy. <laughs> what a nice guy. He's just giving me extra and extra and extra. He wasn't going to stop until I said. Oh, uh, uh, hopefully I can. Ah, uh, look, see, no eating, no no smoking. I don't think no food allowed inside. Ah, damn it. So I wanted I wanted to go on the beach and just walk around and eat my ice cream, but you're not allowed any food. Like no food allowed inside. I will finish this and then go. But you're closing soon, right? Yeah, yeah, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock, ah, okay. Last entry, what time? Last entry, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock, okay. So, um, yeah, I was just checking because it's coming up like 5.30. They're closing at 6. So hopefully, um, yeah, they'll still let me in up until 6 o'clock. Okay, let's uh, demolish this then. Yeah, it doesn't taste very cheesy. Just tastes like a sweet, it's like a sweet dairy flavor, and then the 
the cookie and cream as well, a bit of an Oreo taste to it. Yeah. They have cheese and a lot of desserts here in Philippines, and that might sound strange to people in the UK. You see like these buns, and they have like cheese all over it that's toasted and stuff, but it's sweet, it has some kind of like jam stuff in the middle. And I guarantee you most people from the UK that wouldn't be appealing to them uh, whatsoever, but it just works. In Turkey, they had that as well. We had that cheese dessert in Turkey, the kunafe, and that was made of cheese, and that was nice. So, yeah, try it. Try it sometime, guys. If you uh, are traveling in Asia and you see cheese on a dessert or whatever, don't let that put you off, because... Yum, yum. It's nice. Hey, how are you? Hi. You want a picture, want a picture yeah. with me? He's shy, he's shy. I can tell he's shy. Yeah. They actually know you because they saw you on Facebook. Oh, he saw me on Facebook. Ah, okay. You want to get a photo? Yeah. Okay, take the mask down. Mask. I'll take the mask off. Yeah. One, two, three. Thank you, sir. Okay, nice to see you. Okay. So that's ice cream. Oh. 50 cents for an ice cream cone. It's a bargain. I don't know how much these days, if you were going to get an ice cream cone from the ice cream man in Scotland but I guarantee it would be minimum like five times the price or whatever five times the price guys so uh, enjoying a wee bargain right here demolished enjoyed that it looks like loads of people are turning up now at this time probably to enjoy the sunset and the sunsets from over there so it looks like they've got a lot of security in this area they want to check our bags Which country are you from, sir? Scotland. Scotland. Yes, Thank nice you. to see you. <laughs> okay, yeah, so they don't allow smoking, they don't allow eating. <laughs> don't think they allow pets, they don't allow spitting. And you can see how clean it is. Check this out, guys. Look how clean this beach here it is. It's beautiful. It's like the, the sand in the Maldives or something like that, except, uh, yeah, this is definitely man made. You can see, like, um, it's underneath. Uh, Underneath the small layer of sand, it's kind of just like concrete or something like that. So it's a whole man-made area. It's nice. This definitely, uh, I don't know how long this has been there, but you know, if this was just some kind of like dirty port area or something, it would make, uh, it would make the place, it would make this whole area look um, kind of rough. Uh, the area is kind of rough. This like, um, Malati area it is kind of rough, but uh, with this beach and a few nice hotels and nice restaurants around, it's uh, it's nice, guys. It's nice. We stroll on the beach. Let's uh, go and get our feet wet. I don't think anybody's going in the water. I don't think anybody's swimming. I don't think the water's going to be that clean. You can see all the industrial stuff that's going on around here. But hey, I brought my I brought my five finger shoes, so I'm definitely going to dip my feet at least. There we go. Their man is the only one, like literally the only one. I don't see anybody else over there at all. The one person in this. You know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm proud of myself that I'm uh, I'm different to see everybody else is probably like, oh, the pollution, the pollution. Yeah, it's not the clearest water that you'll find in the Philippines, but it's definitely good that they have this. You know, look at all these people just just come to sit and enjoy sit with a friend, their girlfriend or whatever, chill, wait for the sun to set, like that, nice. And I do recommend, guys, getting a pair of these shoes. People told me for ages to get a pair of these and I never did it. People were telling me when I made the water park video in Dubai and it was too hot for me to like step on the pavement with my the soles of my feet because it was like 50 degrees C or something. Everyone was saying, get a pair of the Vibram water shoes. But uh, I didn't do it because they wouldn't, even them, even the water shoes, they wouldn't let you take them on the rides in Dubai. You had to be bare feet. But then uh, my friend Ryan, Bully Bolang, when we were going to do our hike together, he was like, yeah, we're going to do some uh, rock pool and stuff like that. Definitely get yourself a pair of them. It'll make all the difference. And it did. I wore them at that exact point. Well, there's a bit of litter going on here, guys. This is not nice, is it? So I was just talking about how clean the beach is, but this is the reality down here. There's a lot of, like, packets of 
beef noodles and packets of crisps and stuff, I guess. That's all been washed up. That's probably just been washed up from the sea because, yeah, nobody's allowed to bring, nobody's like cooking or like eating anything or whatever here. So it's like this, like nobody's brought like a huge sack of red dragon rice to the beach. That's definitely, uh, that's definitely been washed up, hasn't it? That's unfortunate. I guess they probably periodically throughout the day and stuff like clean this stuff up. But uh, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate for me because I'm here in my five finger shoes going for a stroll uh, in the water like this and enjoying it. And then I'm stepping through like Corona masks and crisp packets and stuff. A bit unfortunate. That was the, my second choice of hotel if I wasn't going to choose that. Um, where is it? I don't even know where my hotel is. Over there somewhere. If I wasn't going to choose that new coast, it was going to be that, the Diamond Hotel. That's probably, um, along with the new coast, the, the best hotel in, in this area. Okay, I'll go, I'll, I'll go to the end and back. Hello, how are you? Are you here, Yeah, I'm Dale. Okay. You're from where? C what is CBA? Yeah, we're CBA. Yeah, but what is CBA? Um, College of Business Administration. College of Business Administration. Yeah. Ah, okay. So you finished for today, now you're coming to the beach to chill. Yeah. You're so shy. You're the only one who's not shy, right? All your friends are shy. Yeah. You're the only one who's not shy. Even you're shy, okay. Why, Filipi Why Filipinos are shy? <laughs> she says she's shy because of the camera, but she's wearing a mask, so no need to be shy. <laughs> okay. Because we're wearing uniform, we're not allowed to... Uh, but you're not allowed to misbehave when you have the uniform on. Because it will reflect bad on your university. Is that it? Okay. What can we take a picture? Yeah, okay, sure. Thank you. Good, okay. But well, you have a different uniform. You don't have yellow. No, that's the normal one. Oh, that's the normal one. Oh, is that for sports or something? Um, we for um, our, our university week, college week. You have We're a college week. College week. Ah, okay, sure. How are you guys? Hi, You're living in Manila or yeah. tourist? Living from Manila. Okay. I watch okay, I good. Nice one. Subscriber, good. Hello, selfie. What do people say in Philippines? You say cheese or what? When you're taking a photo, what do you say? Cheese, mabuhay. mabuhay. Yeah, what's that? Mabuhay. Mabuhay. Mabuhay, Philippines. Mabuhay, Philippines. Yay. Okay, now I know when I'm taking a photo, I need to say mabuhay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we always say cheese for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, we, we done? Okay, nice to see you guys. See you, bye. Okay, I learned something today, mabuhay. Gonna, I'm gonna Google what that word actually means. Mabuhay. Okay, according to Google, Mabuhay means long live. So if you say Mabuhay Philippines, it's like long live the Philippines. Like that. Thank you so okay. much. Okay, you came Thank to enjoy the sunset. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, that's good. Thank you. No worries, I'm here enjoying the sunset. Yeah. As well, look at it guys, it's beautiful, isn't it? This is the place, guys. This is the place, it's just a shame that you can't bring the um, food and stuff. It'd be nice to just, I don't know, get a bubble tea or something like that and just sit and slurp it. Sit with your girl, the two of you, drinking a nice bubble tea together or something, looking at the sunset, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? But, yeah, this is nice enough. Apparently you can take pets to the beach. I don't know if they, these are just strays that have uh, turned up or if they belong to those guys or whatever but there are there are animals on I think they're strays they don't have any any tags or whatever uh, yeah I did see a couple of little tiny fish Let's see if we can find any more no I'm not seeing any fish Probably, uh, yeah, I mean, if I was a fish, I probably wouldn't want to be amongst all this kind of, I don't know what they're actually doing there. I don't know what they're actually doing, but I probably wouldn't want to be near any of that. I'd probably want to be way out in the ocean, enjoying myself in a nice clean part, wouldn't I? 
and it looks like this is the end here so if we take a look over there that's probably what this would have been like if it wasn't a beach i'm gonna gonna google and see how old this beach is this dolomite oh well surprisingly it's very new it's opened in hi how are you you come to see me i don't have anything for you at all they wouldn't let me bring food mate they wouldn't let me bring food into here if you want food i would suggest going outside maybe get yourself a wee sweet cheesy ice cream cone but yeah this is very new this was only opened in september 2020 i don't know if i'm allowed to stand on this or not but i was just thinking that's probably what the beach would have been like before it was turned into this sandy area but yeah it's very new it says on google it's 500 meters and it's just artificial white sand so yeah guys if you've been to manila before september 2020 before the pandemic time you won't have seen this this is brand new so like i said i've been in malati before in i think it was 2016 and i don't remember this at all so that'll be the reason why this is probably all just like a, a rough kind of like a not very nice area and definitely not whoop, definitely not somewhere people would come to sit enjoy and relax and for your man to dip his feet the only one the only one dipping his feet guys you got to get yourself a pair of water shoes you got to do it so useful ah one more guy is in we're the only ones like nobody else only me and you they are, are afraid, inside they are afraid. <laughs> yeah oh. oh you got flip-flops on yeah nobody else is doing it yeah you think this is clean no 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 yeah a little bit clean yeah 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 not too bad right yeah yeah, yeah it's safe to dip your feet i think are you a vlogger yeah, yeah a vlogger from scotland oh yeah you're from manila what yeah oh, okay good yeah what's your, what's oh, your youtube your channel? wife dale phillip dale phillip subscribe subscribe yeah yeah okay thank you picture okay dale picture phillip. yeah okay all okay, right. nice, nice to, to see you. you. Yeah, enjoy nice your time. You. Enjoy yeah. your time at the beach. Okay, okay. okay. That's nice. Good day, good day. Have a good, good day. day. Yeah, like all these little couples and friend groups, two or three. They come, everybody's in like groups of like two or three, you know? Just to sit, chat, relax, enjoy the sunset. I'm here with you guys though. I'm here with more than two or three. I'm here with all you guys enjoying this, taking you guys along for this wee sunset beach adventure. Oh, he's skimming. Where are you throwing stones? Um, I'm doing stone skipping. Oh, skimming. You need yeah. to get, find like a flat one. Flat? Flat, like this. Flat, and then you need to go you know how? like that. You see? Whoa. Yeah, my dad taught me when I was a little kid. How? When I was a boy, my father taught me how to do like that when Can we were at the beach. Again? You have to, okay, like, how, when how? you throw, right? You have to like spin it like this. So have your finger like here, and as you throw it, make it spin like this, like, Ooh, nice. like that. You know, I'm not very good. I haven't done it awesome. for many, many years. I haven't done it, but that's how to do it. You need to like spin it. Like this, like this. Yes. Like this. Yeah, like that. And this finger, you should be like oh, pulling it, like. Oh. No. This yeah. Is yeah. So like, hold it like this and throw it like that so that it's you want it to be like spinning this way as it's as it's going so that it hits the it hits the water while it's spinning and then it will just pop up oh, yeah, try yeah. It. let me try no oh. no oh. oh you did it who did that one who oh, was you okay good yeah this guy in black he can do it oh you're a like this yeah like that that was two yeah you can do it like that yeah i'm so proud of myself that's a good one, that's a good one, good. Okay, that's good, that's the best one so far. Okay, guys. Oh, good. Yeah, good, see, it's easy to learn. It's easy, guys. If you want to skip stones, just, it's a very basic technique, and then after that, it's just practice. I'm no expert. Uh, yeah, I haven't really done that since I was like a little boy, but everything you learn when you're a kid you remember it your whole life you know so i thought you have to skim now you can subscribe what's your dale phillip dale dale d-a-l-e can i eat yeah what's that shout out 
Shout out to your brother. Yes. Okay, shout out Davis. to his brother. Shout Davis. out to Manny Davis. Pacquiao. Davis. Shout out to Davis. shout out to Pac-Man. No. Shout out Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Birthday, birthday girl. Huh? Birthday now, girl. Birthday, birthday girl. Say happy birthday. birthday to who? To her. 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 Happy birthday, her. Christina. Christina. <laughs> Christina. Happy birthday, Christina. Yay. 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 Happy birthday Yay. to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Christina. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Thank you. But you know, in the UK, after we sing happy birthday, we do like this. Groupie. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. And so say all. And hip hip hooray. Hooray. hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Okay, like that. Okay, good. Okay. Is that a good show out? Is that a good show out? Okay, good. Nice to see you guys. What is your university? UCO. Philippine Christian University. Okay, good. Nice to see you guys. Nice to meet you. Okay, that's good. Nice. Dale Phillip. Dale Phillip. Okay, I'll make sure I get the subscribers. Yeah. I'll make sure I get the subscribers. You owe me because I thought you had to skim. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I'll write it down. Autograph. Autograph. Dale. YouTube and Facebook. YouTube and Facebook. I actually know you. Really? Huh? You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. No, I watch your videos in other countries where you ride. The, the horse and then well, I ride the horse. Oh, yeah, they have horses here. Yeah, yeah. It's not get the no, okay. I actually did already. I, I went around Intramuros on a horse, it was oh, good. He, it he, fun? He, yeah, he didn't try to scam me like the guy the in Karachi, yeah. Yeah. so that was good. Yeah, okay, you want you want to you want to subscribe? Oh, we're taking a take picture. picture. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, a good one. Okay, Thank nice you. one, guys. See you, see you, see you, see you. Okay, that's good. Okay, I got, I got like ten new subscribers just like that, guys. Easily done. Just give them a little less than skimming stones. It's a good, uh, I got a good trade. Some subscribers for some skimming. And uh, yeah, the sun is almost set. Maybe it's got like ten minutes or whatever. Other people skimming stones as well. A popular activity here at Dolomite Beach. Oh wow, I just sort of stepped in that. So I was looking for... Uh, <laughs> I was looking for fish. I think that one's just washed up from further out in the sea. I was looking for fish as I was walking down here and there's just these like tiny little ones that move really fast. So yeah, it's not, a, it's not somewhere you can come and see a tropical fish. It's not, it's not Boracay or El Nido or anywhere like that, guys, is it? But for being in the city, the big capital city of Manila, that you can just come here and enjoy a little taste of a, a beach. It's nice. Ah, so I was just talking about, I wonder what this looked like before, and they said that's what it was like before. Right there, all that trash and everything, and that's the after. Before and after. Guys, they've done a really good job of that. Whoever's idea it was to clean this area up and turn it into this, well done, well done. This is, uh, you've done your city proud, mate. You've done your city proud. Well, bad news, I was standing waiting for the sun to set, but it looks like it's setting behind a cloud and they're on a megaphone telling everybody to leave. So you can see everybody is just, the sun hasn't even set yet. So I think it's like, um, Six o'clock, everybody has to be out. Oh yeah, it's five minutes past six, so that it's closed. Basically, it's closed right now. They're telling everybody to get out, guys. But that was nice. I enjoyed that wee stroll at the beach. Hi, Hi Paul. How are you? Good. Okay. Kamusta. Yeah, good. Thank you. I believe that Kamusta Ka is how are you? So that's the third word that I learned. First I learned Po, then I learned Mabuhai, which is long live, and then I learned Kamustaka, how are you? So we'll get there eventually. One new one new word or phrase a day guys. We'll get it. Hi. Nice one bro, nice one. That's the guy who gave me the beautiful, beautiful ice cream. That was good.
taking selfies. Okay. <laughs> Just walked out my room and there was girls taking selfies. But hey, big Hugh Hefner right here is on his way for a wee swim. <laughs> you going to the swimming pool? No. I'm trying to guess. Either you're going to a nightclub or swimming pool. I can't figure it out. <laughs> Here. Okay, have fun. Right, well, couldn't figure out. They were so skimpily dressed, guys. They were like wearing nothing from the waist down. So I couldn't figure out. They're either going to the swimming pool or they're, I don't know, where they're going. Maybe it's this way. I'm looking for the swimming pool. I think it's going to be indoors because it's on the eighth floor. Is this the swimming pool here? Right, no. Oh, oh, this is a spa. I can yeah. smell it. It smells nice. I smell like a lemongrass and. I should try oh, okay. a massage. Oh, okay. Do you have a menu? Yeah, this one. This is the menu for the spa. Yes. Okay, so open until 1 a.m. Okay, that's good. So open till 1 a.m. Up to 11 11.30 our last call for okay, the Okay, so one hour is 1500 So that's yes. like $27 for you a one hour try massage. It for Say again? Should I should try it. Ah, okay, yes. yeah, maybe later I will. It's good. It's open till 1 a.m. So yes, plenty sir. of time. Thank you so much. Thank so the swimming pool is that way. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to check out the pool. Yeah, guys, I think I think it's going to be indoors. Like I'm on the ninth floor and I don't see any like kind of um, terrace area or anything like that. This is the eighth floor that the swimming pool is supposed to be on. So maybe it'll be an indoor one. I've not had an indoor pool for uh, quite a while. Ah, here fitness center. I guess it'll be in here. Hi Paul. The swimming pool in here? Yes sir. Oh, okay good I will sign in. And the gym is here as well right? Yes sir. I'm just going for the swimming pool today. Okay thank you. Oh uh, do I get a... There's towels there. Okay that's good. So I think it's definitely going to be indoors. Oh, check this out. They've got a, a boxing. They've got a boxing uh, what would you call this an arena? I guess it's probably for doing yoga and stuff like that as well. But uh, maybe I'll try and remember the kick that they taught me in Karachi. Do you guys remember? I went to the um, MMA gym in Karachi and they taught me this kick, which was like this. <laughs> Look at that. See, I remember, guys. Guys, I remember what you taught me. The, uh, I think it was called a push kick. I even remember the name of it, a push kick. What is this? Press button to open door. Oh, what is this? Well, I think this is going to be the pool, guys. I think this is, it's outdoors. That's a surprise. I was fully expecting it to be indoors. Yeah, here it is, outdoors. You won't be able to see much at all, guys. It's very, very dark. But uh, I almost had it to myself. I might, I might get it to myself. There's one guy that looks like he's about to jump in. I might get it to myself, guys. Hi, how are you? Good, sir. Okay, good. good user. Thank you. Right then, guys, your man is going to enjoy a good half an hour's worth of doing some lengths in this pool, and it is a long enough pool to be doing lengths, so that's good. I'm gonna enjoy myself doing that, build up a bit of an appetite, and then I think the plan is gonna to be to get out on the streets and find some good Pinoy street food, guys. I think that is going to be the plan. Okay guys, it is 8pm and I am on the hunt. I'm on the hunt for some chicken adobo. Chicken Very adobo. famous. Yes, adobo, adobo. adobo. <laughs> Gotta watch here. This is all like a massage shops and stuff. Reminds me of like the tourist areas in Bangkok. So that, hey bro, how are you? Good, yes. So I'm looking for chicken adobo. It's a very famous Filipino dish that I've had once before actually when I came to Manila back like seven years ago I did a hike to a mountain called Pico de Loro in uh, Tarante in Cavite and I met this Filipino guy while I was doing the hike and he had brought some chicken adobo with him and he shared it with me and it was lovely so I'm betting I could probably get it in here Robinson's place I remember this mall because uh, that's where I stayed Right there, Birch Tower. That's where I stayed. 
the last time I was in Manila and I, I remember that uh, I think this street right here there was tons of food on it so that's what I'm gonna go and check out yeah right there Birch Tower so I think a room in there was like 40 bucks a night or something it was a very small like studio apartment but there was a I think it was a German guy who had subleased like eight different apartments. He lived there himself in one of the apartments and then he leased like eight other apartments and just put them all on Airbnb. And that's what he did for a living back then. I don't know if he still does it or not. I'm pretty sure you could still get an Airbnb in there. And I just remember this street was very lively, but it was more lively than it is right now. It's, it's not as lively as it was when I was here. Ah, uh, no thanks. There's a lot of bars and stuff. How are you girls? Yes, we follow you on Facebook. Ah, good. I'm looking for somewhere to eat chicken adobo around here. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> you, have it? you know this area or no? No. No, you don't know? Okay, so I can ask. You're shy, right? Are you I can see you're so shy. Uh, All Filipino girls are so shy. Why so shy? I'm watching your vlog. Are okay, you nice. Right yes, now? I'm vlogging now. I'm on, I'm on the way looking for chicken adobo. But... We are now on Facebook. Oh, good. Okay, you're so shy. It's unreal. Okay, stay safe. Stay safe. You're not wearing your helmets. Okay. Okay, so they don't have any recommendations. Every uh, every Filipino girl is just ridiculously shy. They will uh, they will call me over or speak to me or whatever and then... Uh, oh, looks nice. Some barbecue meat. Hi. Okay, sure. Oh, that smells lovely. He's barbecuing up some meat. And my mother is a fan of yours. Your mother? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. Thank you okay, there. no worries. Okay. Okay, maybe I'll come back later. I'm looking for adobo. adobo. Ch chicken adobo. Who's selling? Uh, I need to go into a restaurant. I cannot find on the street. I don't know. Uh, I will look around. Okay. Nice one, bro. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to just walk, look, walk, look. Well, as I was saying about the Filipino girls, I've never... I've never been anywhere in Asia where the, the girls are so shy. There's the same girls again. Picture, picture. What picture? Yeah. Picture, picture. Shy girls don't take pictures. <laughs> shy girls don't take pictures. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Thank you. Good, okay, no worries. Take care. I'm continue on my chicken adobo hunt, guys. So yeah, this street I remember before, hey. It was loads of street food and stuff, but there just seems to be less, less than I remember. What's that? Drinking. Ah, uh, no thanks, I'm looking for chicken adobo now. Chicken adobo? <laughs> yeah. Chicken adobo. What? Cobiertos. What restaurant? Cobiertos. Cobiertos? Cobiertos. Oh, Tapsalungan yeah. Tapsalugan. Yeah. Tapsalugan. Tapsalugan. They have chicken or adobo in there? Or this one. What is this one? Best friend? Best friend yes. They many, have many chicken adobo and best friend. Okay, thank you, bro. I will go have a look. Okay, so we've got a recommendation that the best friends are uh, serving up some chicken adobo right here. Hello, my friends. My best friends. Best friends. You're my best friends because you're going to give me adobo, right? You have it. You have chicken adobo. Pork adobo, sir. Only pork adobo? Ah, okay. So, where is pork adobo? This is it here, adobo. Adobo plate, but it's pork, not chicken. No, Okay, and it's 224. It comes with rice or no rice? No rice. I need to order one with rice. Plain yeah. rice, java rice, fried rice, Shanghai rice. What is Shanghai rice? Shanghai rice. With uh, egg or something? With egg, or? shrimp. Ah, okay. Ah, I don't know if that will go with the pork. Yeah, I'll just have the, I'll just have the fried rice. fried rice. Yeah, fried rice and pork adobo, and what is good to drink with uh, that? Maybe a Del Monte pineapple juice. Okay. Can I take this to the table? Okay, I will sit outside. Okay, on the balcony. Okay, good. That's good. Adobo plain. So they have adobo on menu. It just says adobo plain, but it's pork, not chicken. So. Yeah, something new for me. Uh, I, thought, I thought the adobo was always chicken, but yeah, pork is good as well. 
our best friends. Uh, guys, this street, it's all bars and restaurants, Korean restaurant, Korean fried chicken, bar and music, like the whole street. So I would recommend, if you're into bars and stuff, I'm not, I don't drink alcohol. I don't particularly like places where people are drinking and there's loud music and stuff. It's not really my scene, but... This is my scene, Korean restaurant, such like, best friends giving you pork adobo. That's my scene. So yeah, if you're into food or bars and music, I'm sure you're into one of those. It's a decent area to stay. Just look for the Robinson Mall on the map and just choose a hotel or an Airbnb around about there. And there's plenty uh, plenty of places you can go. We pass, there's like massage shops, there's restaurants, bars, there's the mall itself. It's just a very lively area, guys. There was more street food, like I mentioned, there was more street food um, when I was here last. Things have changed a bit. It's been a while, guys, it's been a while. How are you? Kamushtaka? Good. It's for me. Free soup, sir. What is this? Free soup. Soup? Soup. Okay. Free? Free. Okay. Give me a free soup. Some kind of clear soup. It's chicken. Pork. Pork. Oh, okay. Pork soup. Mm. That's nice. A wee appetizer while we wait for our pork adobo, some clear pork soup. They gave me a fork as well, but there's nothing in that. It is uh, completely clear. And that's nice as well. They give you some, about two liters of water without you even asking for it, you know? A lot of restaurants, they wouldn't do that. They just wait until you buy another drink. Oh, wow. There's my pork adobo right here. Oh, look at those chunks of pork. Wow. That looks good, brother. That looks good. Thank you so much. Okay. Check this out, guys. This glistening, glistening pork. This beautiful sauce, those fatty chunks. Look at the layer of fat on those chunks right there. And this pork, clear pork soup can get put to the side because it's all about the... Guys, right now it's all about the pork adobo, isn't it? I'm gonna serve this on the plate with my rice. So they always do this when you order a meal with rice. They give you the rice and the meal separately because the way Filipinos do it is they would maybe get a plate of rice each and buy, maybe three people would buy two things like this and share it between the three of them, something like that. Or maybe they would buy three things and just have a third of each like that. It's all, it's like a sharing culture when they go out to eat. And this is a big portion for whatever it was, 220 something, about $4 for this uh, pork adobo right here. Look at it. Look at how much you get for your money. So much meat covered in this sauce. Now let's give the sauce a taste first, guys. This adobo sauce right here. Mmm. Oh wow, very sweet. More sweet than I was expecting and tangy. Tangy, tangy, tangy. It's on garlicky. Mmm. So there's definitely garlic in there. I think it's garlic, soy sauce. Definitely garlic, definitely soy sauce. Maybe a bit of vinegar. What else would be in there? I don't know, but something to make it sweet. Something to make it sweet and peppery as well. Garlicky, soy, saucy, tasty, vinegary, and pepperiness. And the meat taste as well, obviously the pork has been cooked in that adobo sauce, so it's very meaty. Now let's get a chunk. Where was that fatty bit there? Oh, there it is right there. Oh, that's the bit that caught my eye as soon as he delivered it to the, the table. Look how, look at the layer of fat on the top of that. Whoa, it's so soft. Mm. Guys, that is incredible. That is about as tender as you could imagine pork being. It is, it's like it's been slow cooked or something and that sauce is just soaked, soaked into it. Like I said, it's cooked with the sauce. Maybe it's slow cooked with the sauce. I don't know the exact cooking process for adobo, but it's perfect guys. It's absolutely perfect. Mm. Oh. Oh. I would say 
already. I've only had two chunks of it so far, but already this is my favorite meal since I've come to the Philippines, right here. This is the best thing I've eaten. And you know what? That first day that I arrived, I had the, what was it called again? Oh yeah, the sisig. I had the sisig and that was amazing. And this is even better than that. And that was that was also pork. Maybe I should just be sticking with the, the pork dishes here in the Philippines. I was looking for chicken and thankfully I ended up with the pork because it is, look at this. Look at the, look at the fattiness. Look how soft this is right here. Oh. Very little chewing required, that's how tender, that's how tender this is. Yeah. And potato as well, how are you? Oh, it's good, this is the guy who recommended. I made a pork adobo, pork. pork adobo. Yeah, very good, yeah, best friends. Best friends to These guys are now my best friends because this is my best meal. Yes. In the Philippines so far. Very after, nice. After that drink. Aren't? Me, I don't drink alcohol. Yeah. Right. I am good. You've eaten here before, yeah? yeah? Yeah, it's a good one. What else is good on their menu? Another good thing on their menu? Maybe I will come back here again. I know, uh, tapsilog. Tapsilog? Yeah. Ah, okay. Tapsilog yeah. is like it's like beef jerky, right? I know, tapa. Tapa, yeah. And then pancit. Pancit? Ah, okay, pancit is the noodles, right? Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. Maybe I'll try something Maybe else. Yeah. Maybe I'll come back here because it's very close to where I'm staying. And if this, blogger, bro. I'm a blogger, yes, they'll fill it on YouTube and Facebook. Yeah. It's so good guys, it's so good. I can only imagine. I can only imagine the faces Mark Weens would be making if he was eating this right now. Your boy Mark. He'd be giving it. He'd be giving it a hundred. Oh wow. For sure. For absolute sure. Yes. You're shy. You're shy. <laughs> I think you're shy. <laughs> what is that? I'm selling. Oh, you're selling? No. Bless yeah. Ting. What is it? Very, very ice cream cones. Yeah. But I, it has no ice cream. Only the cones. Only the cones. Ah, okay. What is it? Chocolate, chocolate chip chocolate. cookies. Ah, uh, I don't want. It's How okay. About this one? Oh, you have lots of cookies. Oh, uh, it's all cookies and stuff. Uh, but cheap. it says chocolate many, chip cookies. There's so many. There's 45 cookies. I will get so fat. If I eat 45, I will get so fat. No, no. You don't, don't have anything small, no? You don't have something small. Everything's so big. <laughs> you don't have something small. It's for like a family, for family with children and stuff. What's this? Big oven brownies. Yes, very oh. nice. <laughs> How about this one? What is it? Yes, cookies, very nice. Cookies, Good. mochaccino. No, I don't like coffee taste. No, I don't like coffee no more taste. Uh, I don't know. This one. No rules, this I don't know. <laughs> How much is this one? The big oven. One twenty. One twenty. Okay, that is like two dollars. Okay. Where, from where? From where? From here in Manila. From Manila? Huh? Yeah, Manila. Oh yeah, it does say it's made in Manila. Okay, I'll buy these ones off you then, the big okay. oven brownies. Only? only? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want them, I'm just helping you out. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, okay. Let's see if I You're get... a blogger? Yeah, blogger uh, from Scotland. You're from where? Scotland. I see. You yes. want to stay here, you don't mind. No, this, uh, I just come from Baguio today. Baguio? Yeah, I was in Baguio. I took the bus, the Victory Liner. How many? You yeah. only? Yeah, I'll just stay here maybe. You're here. alone? Yeah, alone. Yeah, alone. Well, you don't have company? I know, I don't need, don't Why? need company. Why? Lonely hurt. if you want. I'm, I'm not lonely at all. I'm enjoying. Enjoying it. Fully, fully enjoying, in fact. Okay, that's 120. Okay, that's thank you. Thank okay, you. no worries. Okay, I'm okay, gonna... here. What's that? Huh? Sit. No, I'm gonna pay for my, my food. Okay. Okay, yeah, oh, 300 exactly, including the rice and the pineapple juice. Okay, so that is about five bucks, just over five bucks for that, uh, for a full meal and a drink. It's pretty good. Hi. Smallest meal. 
No, that's all I got. I only got 20s and 1000s. Yeah, uh, 20s and 1000s, sorry. Oh, somebody gave you a US dollar? dollar. Yeah, Some, somebody some, gave you one US dollar. Someone gave that to us. Ah, you should keep for a souvenir. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can hear myself. I can hear myself coming over here. So he's, he's watching my uh, Choto Makassar video. <laughs> Total Makassar in town. So oh, well, Total Makassar is a famous... They did this to me in, uh, they did this to me in Nepal, in Kathmandu. The lady, I was eating the momos and I could hear my own voice coming from the, the counter. And the lady was playing like a... I think one of my videos from way back in India or something. She was just there watching it on her phone. Well, watching me eat. It's so weird. Okay, yeah, that's why. Okay. Oh, I don't need the bag. I'm gonna give to the kids outside. Yeah. I'm gonna give to the, yeah, I'll give to the children. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you next time. Maybe I will come back next time. I need the uh, Paris or something. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the brownies. See you next time. Take care. Okay. See you soon. See you. Okay. There's little kids outside. I got this for you. Some brownies. Ah, okay, yeah, enjoy. Very okay, very good okay, good enjoy. Enjoy. Okay. Sorry if you want to go out. Ah, uh, no, it's bar. okay. Was it karaoke? Yeah, on nightclub. Ah, uh, it's okay. Thank you, bro. That jeepney. That jeepney looks like a party jeepney. Like people having a party inside. Hey, guy. Hey, bro. Okay, I'm gonna jump across the road right here and go into this Robinson's Place Mall before it closes and maybe get myself a bubble tea or something like that for the road so having a look around there is a Starbucks down there and I do like the matcha green tea out of Starbucks Frappuccino style it's delicious but they give you paper straws here in the Philippines maybe everywhere they give you paper straws now at Starbucks I had a Starbucks uh, last night, my last night in Baguio and um, yeah it was paper straw, I asked for two as well because I knew they would be soggy and even I had, I had been through two straws that were useless, that they were done, they were all soggy and I still had a third of my drink left so really you need three paper straws to consume a venti matcha a green tea frappuccino from Starbucks, I'm not doing that Unless I don't find anything else, uh, then maybe I'll have to do that, but just ask for the three straws. But hopefully I can just find myself a nice Taiwanese bubble tea shot with a plastic straw. That's the ideal scenario. Oh, here we go, chatting. You still open or closed? Open. Open. Okay, good. Let's have a look. I'll have the matcha milk tea large size, please. With Baba. You don't have matcha milk tea for You don't have matcha? Oh no. Hmm. Okay, can I have the cream cheese taro large please? Cream cheese taro. 190. 190. Okay, so I basically got the most expensive one on the menu. Guys, I got the one that is like like three dollars fifty or something. Hopefully it's gonna be good cream cheese taro, I like taro, like matcha and taro are my favourites when I get bubble tea. Take out. Oh yes, take out. Oh, it's big. Good. Let's see if we get paper straw or plastic straw, guys. Uh, I don't need the plastic bag. I would just take, yeah, I'll just take with the napkin. Yeah, like this. Okay, I'm get the straw. Okay, good, it's plastic. Good. Good, I'm happy. You know, Starbucks, they give you paper. It's not good at all. Okay, I'll be, I'll be drinking my tea from this place rather than Starbucks from now. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Nice. That is the taste I like. The taro milk tea. It's a lovely way to end the day. I am going to stroll back to my hotel, hey. sipping on this. Hey. Hi guys. I'm gonna enjoy this. It's a stroll back to my hotel. 
and yeah I will see you guys in the next adventure which I think is probably going to be a food vlog yeah I'm, I'm in the mood now guys I'm in the mood to do like a like a full day of eating style vlog you know just go around to have breakfast lunch and dinner all Pinoy food in this kind of local area I think that'll be a good idea I'm just in the mood for it now after eating that delicious delicious pork adobo mm, 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 mm. so good guys so good okay see you see you next time